Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome back to Wizards News and today I want to talk about port keys again because what I said last time, apparently there are a few issues with it. So let's dive in and take a look at some really fun things coming up. So as a recap, I did a video recently about port keys and I went and showed a bunch of different things that people didn't really quite realize about port keys because they are a very interesting part of the game. And one of the fun things about them is if you don't pick a Raxpert and you back out or you run out or you leave the port key in any way, the port key goes right back into your box. But if you pick one Raxpert, then you get all five rewards. You don't know what those rewards are, you have to go through and actually search and figure out what you didn't have before and what you do have after, but you do get five rewards even if you just pick one Raxpert. And so a lot of us were thinking, well, the rest of them really don't matter, so you only get the first one that you pick and that just determines all the rest, so there's no reason not to pick the first one and leave. But after doing some of the research, it became very apparent that the more Raxperts you picked, the better your reward was. And this was somewhat interesting. And does it really matter which Raxpert you pick? Is the first one important? Is it better to pick a particular Raxpert over another? Are the later ones more important? Do you get better rewards from rarer or harder to find Raxperts? And these are things we really don't know, and there is no way to actually quantify them until you actually graph out and map the actual port keys. Many of you may not know, but I have a Discord group that is focused on this channel, and it is the Wizards Unite Hive Mind, and it's primary focus is to do some research and to figure things out. It is a way that I can bounce ideas off of the audience and we can all work together to figure this game out a little bit better, as well as produce and set up some of the videos I have coming out. And one of the things I wanted to do was mapping out port keys. So I contacted everyone on the Discord group and we actually started working together on this. So uh, two guys particularly, uh, Faith here and Truck Hakchu, Hakchu, Sorry, man, I got to figure out how to pronounce your, uh, your username on here. <laughs> the two of them came up together and produced these fantastic maps of all the port keys. And in these, you can actually see full detail of where they're all at. And then I took them and I went through and started mapping out where all of the actual Raxperts are in the port keys. Green for the obvious ones and then red for some of the hidden ones. Then in the hive mind, we actually went through and worked out where are all the Raxperts, finding all the hidden ones, um, combining our knowledge to actually go through and locate some Raxperts and create the maps where we can have all this data put. The problem I have is I can't say the Raxpert above the cauldron is the one I clicked first and I got this because there's multiple cauldrons and there's multiple locations. So how do you actually tell people what Raxpert you picked? And until you can do that, you can't collect accurate data on this. So we're going to create maps to help us create accurate data. So what I went and did is created wizardsnews.com. Now, I do have a lot of other plans. I'm hoping to do some swag with shop and, and other things like that where you can help me out or find out more information about it. But I haven't done that yet. Right now, I just want to collect data. And that is the big thing that's on my mind is doing research. And so what I've done is published all of these maps on here so that we can get an idea of this. Now, first, I want to actually go through and make sure that these maps are accurate. Are there any other hidden Raxperts that I'm missing? And so if you look at these maps and you say, no, there's actually a Raxpert over here that you can't see, please let me know. I'm going to get it on the map. Once I know that I have all the Raxperts, then I'm going to come through here, I'm going to label them and number them all. So this would be Raxpert number one, Raxpert number two, number three, number four, number five. And that way you can say, Hagrid's hut number three, I got such and such. And that way we can actually track what we get from what Raxpert in what location. And so this is kind of cool. Now in here, all of the obvious ones are green. And some of these are hidden a little bit like the one in the cup and the one behind the jug and the one up here. They're kind of hidden a little bit, but if you look for them, they're, they're pretty obvious. Um, so hidden ones are in red, obvious ones are in green. So next I want to come down and look at Ollivanders. And in here, there are actually two that are hidden you can't actually see. Um, on either side here, if you're in AR, you can go in and look through this doorway and you'll see one Raxpert over here and one Raxpert over here. Now if they are hidden, you can still click through the wall and get the Raxpert. So as long as you click on this spot on the wall, you will get that Raxpert behind. So if you're not in AR, you can still get them in there. Another one that's kind of hidden is this one down here on the floor. A lot of people tend to miss that one. But I think I have all the Raxperts in this location. And then we have the new one, Honeydukes, down here. And all of these are fairly obvious. The most hidden one is the one that's in the swirl. And I think I've gotten them all. Uh, for some reason, I was thinking there was one in this bowl. But every time I click on it, I'm not getting anything out of there. So if I'm missing a Raxpert in here, please let me know. Um, I don't see any that are particularly hidden in this one. And so they're all fairly out in the open, but there aren't as many Raxperts as I would expect. So let me know if I'm missing any in this one. I would love to get them 
But then there's one that I skipped, and this is my favorite one. It is Borgen and Burks, because there are a lot of hidden Raxperts in this one. And I want to go through this, because there are several that are fairly obvious. But there is one inside this cauldron. If you're in AR, you can actually look down in the cauldron and see it. But if you click on the outside of the cauldron, you'll still get it. There's another one that's upstairs, and if you actually get on a stepladder or something like that and go up three or four feet on the stepladder, you can see it in AR. There's actually a Raxpert upstairs. And there's another one in this cabinet that you can click through. As long as you click on this location, you'll get it. There's another one inside of the chamber over here. If you click on the face, you'll get that one. Then there's one over here behind the desk. And if you actually stand right over here, you can look down over the desk and see it. Or if you get right down on the floor, you can look underneath the desk and see it. Then there's another hidden one back down in here. It's not the one up on top of the bookcase. It's actually the one back in here that is hidden. And there's no way to see that one. But if you click right there, you'll still get that Raxbird. So there's a lot of hidden Raxberts in here. And it wouldn't surprise me if there's still some that I'm missing. Uh, I, I've, I've clicked on just about every spot hoping to find one. Maybe there's one in the basement. I've never actually clicked on the floor to see if anything comes up in there. So if you know of anything on here, please let me know. Now, anyone can access these port key maps, and I have them up on my website, wizardsnews.com backslash port key dash map. I'll leave a link to it down below. Um, so go there and take a look at the map and get to know them, and you might be surprised what you can find. I am finding, particularly with Borgen and Burks, if I hit the hidden ones, I get a better reward. Now, I'd really like to track this and find out if I am actually getting a better reward or if it just feels like I'm getting a better reward. I don't know until we've gotten the data. So how exactly do we go about getting the data? What I've been doing over the last few weeks is I've actually been taking a screen recording. If you download a DU Recorder or something else like that, and you record your sessions in the port keys. This way, you can actually get the data, and it's much easier to transfer the data. If you take videos of your port keys and save them, send them to me, I will crunch the data for you. I think that's probably the easiest way for most people. But if that is too difficult for you, then just hold off until I make sure we have all the port keys here. And then I'm going to go through and number all of the Raxperts on the port keys. And that way you can tell me Borgen and Burks number six, I found such and such. Once we get this all working and we have a full system for the data, I really want to break this down so we can figure out which Raxperts are better or are any of them better. Is it better to just click one Raxpert and leave or are you better off actually picking a few of them particularly every time to get the best reward possible? This seems like a very big deal because with a little bit of luck, if you pick the right ones, you can get 14, 15, 16,000 XP. I've even seen one screenshot of over 20,000 XP with a Barufio's Brain Elixir. And this can be very, very useful information. So please help me out here. Take video footage when you open your port keys and send that to me, and we'll collate the data. And as soon as we get the data in to crunch it, we'll be putting out a report on that. So I hope you like this port key fun, and go ahead and check these out on my website. I'll leave a link to them down below. And let me know if there's anything particular you want me to put on the website here. Um, I'm really not trying to save any information. I want this to be a resource for the community on here. And uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun actually detailing this out and finding out about these Raxperts. Do they actually matter? Is there anything special? Are there any hidden ones that I'm missing? I would love to know about that. If you did like this video, please hit like, comment, share, subscribe, ring the bell. All those fun things really do help out the channel, and thank you for that. That means a lot to me personally and really do help out the channel. Also, if you want to help out on Patreon, go ahead and do that. I don't do sponsors on this channel. I might in the future, but for right now, I want this channel to just be as open as possible and be about the community. So thank you for that. I think that's about it for now, and until next time, have a magical day. Man, I hope I clicked the right Raxpert because I could use another Dumbledore. I've only gotten a couple of them and haven't gotten one in a while, and today we got, oh, Jaconda Sykes. I actually haven't gotten her in a little while. A fairly common one, but I like her. If you'd like to get this, come see me at FanFest, and I'll be handing them out.